I'm here with Summer Shapiro, who's performing at the Tank in the Flint in Tinder series. And her show, Kinds of Light, is opening on May 2nd through the 18th. And uh, I'm happy to have her here talk about her process and the show that she's going to be performing for the first time yeah. in front of the public. Yeah. Thanks, Jim. Thank uh, so I could start at the beginning. And to say this, this show has been in process for two years now. I went away from it for the majority of two years, but I'm back and excited to be. Um, it was inspired initially by uh, a train ride I had here in New York two years ago where I saw this woman um, with thick makeup on, just perfect, perfect lipstick, eyeliner, these pressed clothes, perfect stockings. It was like... The color of the stockings, like that, her, whatever tan that was, it was like almost exactly her flesh tone, but it was like so looking fake at the same time. I was just fascinated with this kind of performance she was putting on, this whole costume that she was in that was so planned out and so meticulous. And it got me really interested in what's going on underneath and not just for her, but for any of us and for myself included. I got excited about, okay, what if I made a show about my desire to um, have everything be understood and know if I do X, Y, and Z, then this will happen and all my ducks are in a row and da 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 da. And at that time, I was in that position of, okay, I'm excited about my career, I'm excited about the art that I'm making. Um, I don't know how to make it grow, so maybe if I control everything as best as I can, then something good is going to happen. But the more and more I tried to control things, the more, I don't know, it felt like things wouldn't move, like it, things got hard and difficult, and um, I got really interested in that. Like, huh, that's interesting, and I actually have very little control on how things turn out and I'd like to make a play about that and when I say play I don't usually use the word play but I'd make like to make a play where I play with this ferocious desire and desperation to be certain and the fact that we just can never be um, so I've never performed this before like like you said um, I'm excited nervous um, to put it in front of an audience and even though it is opening in a month I'm still in process and I'm also excited about not hiding that before I used to you know <laughs> I used to write the descriptions of my shows um, about what I thought they'd be about before I even wrote them like I'd book them somewhere and it wasn't even created and I'd kind of like not really let people know that <laughs> it's just very intense and I'm really interested in saying, hey guys, I don't know, I don't know yet, and we're gonna find out, and I'm gonna share with you what I find out along the way. So I've been, you know, um, posting pictures, and you know, my rehearsal process, I go into the room alone mostly for this show, and um, I spend a lot of time in the mirror, mirror is really important for me, and I videotape a lot, um, especially for things, I'm doing some work underneath the sheet, where I'm gonna be um, puppeting the sheet, can't see myself through the sheet so I you know record and play back record and play back um, and I'm really interested in doing things from unfamiliar angles uh, going to sleep in a bed and then suddenly flipping it so that the audience is bird's eye view over the bed um, I'm interested in playing with really familiar objects and turning them into a magical exploration. So I haven't had a lot of props with me because I've been you know, going to work, then going to rehearsal, then going to work, and so I'm not carrying a lot with me, so I was like, oh, what's in the room? Uh, box of tissues. There was always a box of tissues in my rehearsal room that I was renting, and I started playing with these. I found out you can make an amazing sound with a tissue in between your mouth. If you just blow, it sounds like a, a bird of prey, and, um, you know, a fan and some tissues. I was playing for like two hours with that one day. It was exciting. Um, yeah, I'm really interested in how things we deal with in one certain way 
can be dealt with in many different ways. It fits into that whole trying to make thing, planning things and be certain about things and then what else could we do? How about we play with the situation? Um, so that's a little bit about my process. Sometimes I go in and <laughs> I'm completely, you know, I want to bang my head up against the wall. I don't know what to do, but uh, I turn on music. When, when I really don't know what to do, I turn on music and I dance and I run around and I, um, I, I go until I can start making myself laugh. And if I'm making myself laugh in the rehearsal room, I know I'm on a good track. Uh, let's see. I'm working with a sound designer, which I'm really grateful to be. His name is Sean Brennan and a sound designer named Simon Harding. Um, Simon has some background in, in Lecoq training. And he's also a, a carpenter and designer. And Sean is a composer, and he's just getting into doing theatrical, um, theatrical composing. But he's a natural. Nice. Um, what else can I say? I'm good. excited. That's good. And um, thank you. More can be found out on my website and on Facebook. Thank you. Opening May second, kinds of love. <laughs> <laughs>